Better Barry and News Group. I mean, that first quarter, have you been a part of an avalanche like that before? No. That was it was unbelievable. Uh, our guys were locked in <coughs> on both ends of the floor. And you know, I, I wish I can say, you know, this one thing or that one thing was really good, but everything that we tried to do, we tried to do it at a high level, and it and it worked. Our guys give them a lot of credit for coming in with the focus that they did. It was it was fun to watch, fun to be a part of. Marcus Thompson, Barry News Group. So one uh, was that was that because of you? Did you? <laughs> what, what what do you think it was? Was it was it they made shots early? Was it the defense? Uh, why did it click so much? I, I tell you. I, I don't know if I've ever been around a group like this. You know, um, I've said it before, uh, Steve, he's done a fantastic job, not a great job, but a fantastic job of uh, laying the foundation here uh, on both sides of the floor culturally. And, you know, our guys appreciate the ownership that they have. And uh, it, it, they were just locked in. They were focused. And that's what they're more than capable of, capable of doing now. To sustain that for 48 minutes in the NBA is tough, <clears throat> you know, because everybody's good and everybody's going to go on a run. But um, uh, our group, if if there's any group out here, uh, they're capable of doing that because of who they are and 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 the foundation that Steve has laid. Anthony Slater, Barry News Group. Were you watching Kevin closely in those first few minutes? And when he had the big block or the dunk, were you like, okay, you know, the calf is is where we want it to be? Yeah, and not. Not just that, but just how he was running, how he was uh, changing directions, his pace, so on and so forth, of stopping and going. You know, we just wanted to make sure that uh, he was going to be okay. And he's done a great job communicating with our our training staff. And so, uh, you know, they they definitely were watching him the whole night and communicating back and forth with him. Uh, Connor Letourneau, San Francisco Chronicle. Mike, what was going through your mind uh, in that – that sequence where McGee hammered home the alley oop over Vonley. <laughs> Andre is kind of funny because Andre was kind of like right in front of me, and he turned around and he was so like hyped, and I think he was looking for somebody to you know to give him five, and I wanted to so bad just jump up and give him five and start dancing or something like that because I got excited too. I was like, "Your coach, play it cool." So I just sat there, and but it was a phenomenal play. I mean, I thought there was no chance for that to happen. Uh, Ethan Strauss, ESPN. Uh, you had an extended conversation with uh, Kevin when he checked out. Uh, was that about him wanting to play more? What was the nature of that conversation? No, you know, again, I hate to keep saying this, but it's, it's the truth. It's one thing that another thing that Steve does well, he communicates with the guys, and so I was just telling uh, Kevin where my thought process was for him for the rest of the game. And um, I mean, he was he was good with it. He was basically just listening, and we kind of went from there. But nothing more than that. Marcus Thompson, Barry News Group. Do you think there's anything about you know in that locker room where they want to show with Durant, like they can play? I know there's been talk about Durant maybe you know stunt stunting Steph Curry, or maybe the chemistry isn't there. Do you think they wanted to prove that? With Durant, they're they're phenomenal. Yeah, may, I mean maybe you know, I don't know. They they don't talk uh, about that out loud, uh, possibly. Um, but I, I, I'm sh I, knowing that group, they just want to do it the right way. You know, no matter who's on the floor. And it seems like throughout the course of the year, when we've had guys that are injured or whatever, we've had somebody else step up. And it seemed like it's been different guys stepping up at different times. So I think more than anything else, you know, when you give a group like that, you know, ownership uh, of the process, uh, they just want to do things the right way no matter who's on the floor. Monty Poole, NBC Sports Bay Area. Mike, sometimes before a game you can get a feel for where a team is headed before the game. Just sort of a, a vibe in the locker room. What did you sense before this game, before you guys left the locker room today? I was talking to somebody about that uh, earlier, maybe earlier today. And, you know, in the past you kind of read your team and you feel if your team is serious and they're kind of walking around locked in, focused or whatever. You have a good shoot around, nice, everybody got nice sweat. You're like, you know what, we, we might have one tonight. Uh, 
this team is just on a different level. <laughs> I mean, they, they could be loose. They can crack jokes before the game. They can crack jokes uh, during shoot around, you know, with one another, about one another, um, and then go out and do that, you know. So I, I think the biggest thing is just whatever is happening at that particular in t time in the locker room before the game, just enjoy the moment, understand what our jobs are, and go out and try to do them. But in terms of trying to, to, to read these guys, at least I know I can't. S Steve may be able to, but I, I can't. Anthony Slater, Barry, News Group. You guys are obviously playing well, but it, you know how nicked up you guys are, some of the guys on the team, even obviously what's going on with, with Steve. Will this week that you guys just got yourself a rest be good for this team? Yes, and, and you know, in, in the past, I've been in this situation before as a head coach, and and you know, certain teams and <clears throat> certain guys, you you worry about having this much time off. But I, I think I truly believe it's good for this group. So, uh, for us to be able to come in here uh, this weekend and, and close the series out in, in four games, knowing that the other series is uh, at two-two, I think can be beneficial for our group uh, going forward.